Doctor Who showrunner Chris Chibnall picks his favourites. Let's have a look at Chris Chibnall's favourites. Hey there! Two years ago I had my first ever look at Britbox UK. That was Boxing Day 2019 and about 600 odd episodes of classic Doctor Who had landed on the platform. And now we're going to take a look back inside Britbox UK two years on. Straight away I can see that the Doctor Who interface has improved because it shows you immediately the options to watch any of the individual seasons along with the pilot episode there and also the extra episodes. So the extra episodes are kind of orphaned episodes. Uh, we can see a few that we didn't have there before I think now and you've got things like the Evil of the Daleks episode 2 but two years ago that extra episodes thing was, was called season zero. There were like two season zeros. One was the pilot and one was the extra episode. So it shows that BritBox haven't just left everything the same and they have actually improved the interface from what I can see so far. If you press this watch button it seems to start from the very beginning of Doctor Who and play the pilot by the way. So what I want to see is where the old uh, where the menus of yore have gone because there were lots of kind of playlists Doctor Who playlists. So let's see and I'm slightly stumped as to how to how to find it. Yeah I'm a bit confused because I mean this is good being able to watch all this stuff but previously there were lots of playlists, all the Cybermen stories, all the best Tom Baker stories. So now where is that stuff? That's what I want to know. Once again Britbox seems so close to getting it right and yet I just can't find the Doctor Who menus. Very frustrating. As you can see up here I had to google for how to find Doctor Who menu on Britbox and it was only when I saw that there's this URL that I actually found this menu screen that I was looking for. Seriously Britbox, I reckon there must be so many users who don't even know there's this marvellous Doctor Who page or hopefully marvellous Doctor Who page. I've got no idea how to find this particular page within the navigation system of the site itself. Anyway let's have a look at it, see what is there that wasn't there before and then oh let's have a look at the recently added stuff. Fury from the Deep, that's the relatively recent animated version and the faceless ones. The Abominable Snowmen, hold on so what's this? Okay, so that's episode two of the Abominable, Abominable Snowmen. Great, yeah. So that's coming next year in an animated version, but for now it's nice to have a second episode of that serial right here to watch, along with a couple of episodes from the Crusade, which might not have been there before. So that's really good, but let's get back to the menu. But I don't know how I got to, apart from typing in the URL. Evil of the Daleks, so I'm assuming that's also the surviving episode. Yeah, that's um, Evil of the Daleks episode 2 quite new out isn't it evil of the daleks and um i very much doubt we'll find galaxy 4 here either i guess things take a while to appear on on britbox so the most recent ones we have in terms of the new animated stories are uh, fury of the deep and the faceless ones uh, the, the web of fear is on here and i just had a quick look at one of the episodes in fact episode 3 and that seems to be the telesnap recon version anyway back to that mystery menu. If there is a really easy way to find this menu then just tell me in comments and that would be really interesting to hear. So let's have a look at some more recently added stuff. Oh lots of um, Sarah Jane stuff that's great loving that. Okay so let's see what the playlists are like now. New to Who start here with key stories from each Doctor. Yes yes that was here before. Uh, the Silurians I still question that. Uh, two years later is why you'd have that as the one representing the Pertwee era. Curse of Fenric City of Death, Caves of Androzani. Yeah. Yes, I mean that's really cool. I like these playlists as I've said before on this menu, even though the menu is now very difficult to find indeed. Fourth Doctor, ten of the best. Yes, Talons, Assassin, Pyramids, Robots is in there somewhere I expect. Yes it is. Oh no, here's an interesting up-to-date one. Doctor Who showrunner Chris Chibnall picks his favourites. Let's have a look at Chris Chibnall's favourites. The Tomb of the Cybermen. Nice work Chris. Terror of the Autons, yes. The Seeds of Doom, yes. Earthshock, oh yes. Remembrance of the Daleks, yes. An Unearthly Child, City of Death, Fenric, Androzani. Doctor Who the movie, interesting. Well, he does have the Grand Serpent in flux, doesn't he? He's quite kind of serpentine, much like the Master. Uh, the Aztecs, Ghostlight, Vengeance on Varos. And Enlightenment. Yeah, that's an interesting selection there from Chris. And then we have um, Sarah Jane playlist here. A series of things with the master in. Tom Baker's own favourite fourth Doctor stories. Pyramids, Seeds, Revenge, Genesis, Assassin. <laughs> I'm reading Doctor Who story titles in the, in the style of Alan Partridge. Ark, Sontaran, 
Robot, Pyramids, Seeds, Revenge. Classic stuff, isn't it? Deadly Assassin. I'm glad if that really is one of Tom's favourite stories. I'm glad that he loves Assassin. I love the Deadly Assassin. Cyberman stories. Ah, the Regeneration stories. That's good. Dalek stories. The Unit Collection. That'd be quite a long one. The Women of Doctor Who. Yeah, I suppose these are stories that have kind of strong uh, female characters. Yeah, like the Stones of Blood certainly does. Can't remember the Monster of Peladon all that well. I need to revisit that. Remembrance of the Daleks obviously has Ace for a start. The Mark of the Rani. Oh yeah, the Rani is definitely a strong female character. Playlist of stars in Doctor Who, like Martin Clunes and Brian Blessed. Doctor Feel Good, Uplifting Adventures, chosen by Doctor Who magazine. Oh, I really like that there's a whole load of uh, new playlists here, and so there should be a, two years down the line. Surviving episodes, spin-offs and docs. Yeah, there's not a whole load of extra docs here from what I can tell. Tales from the TARDIS was here, and so, as was Doctors Revisited two years ago. Uh, the animated episodes, got the Macra Terra there, and um, Sharda. And here's that playlist that was here two years ago, in which you can see the Doctors in other telly shows. Gallifrey and the Time Lords. Okay, so you got Morbius, Deadly Assassin, Ark of Infinity, The Invasion of Time, Five Doctors. So why not the War Games, I ask you multi-doctor stories so it's broadly the same as it was two years ago but there are several new playlists added and so while a whole load of stuff hasn't exactly been added i mean there wasn't really a lot of stuff to add unless you're going to really put in a load of telesnap recon stuff a la wheel in space so i must admit um, apart from divorcing the whole playlist page from this page that you see right now it's it's definitely better it's definitely been streamlined and there's been some new stuff added and i dare say that things like evil of the daleks and galaxy 4 will be added in good time Britbox, then is it worth it more in 2022 well Yes, I think it is. There is objectively more stuff on it. And apart from the odd ridiculous thing, like, you know, the whole menu thing with Doctor Who, uh, it's it's really nice. Yeah, it's got a lot of stuff on it. I've just signed up for this new deal. I'll put a link downstairs in the video description whereby you can get 30 free days and then the first three months that you pay for after that are half price at $2.99 a month. So that's got to be worth doing and you can cancel at any time. So I think that's pretty good. And at the end of the day, you do have you know, pretty much all the existing Doctor Who stuff on your television set ready to go. As always, I want to hear what you think though, so get downstairs in the comments and let's talk about this. I'm going to put my previous Britbox videos on screen for you right now to have a look at if you want to carry on watching some retro Britbox stuff. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you're having a fantastic Christmas. Until the next video then, don't forget to embrace your obsession.